Hey buddy, Infraultra here. Um, I was just looking online the other day, looking for some more color palettes for Bitwig because uh, the standard ones that are included here, Classic, Ice Pops, Kelvin, Madeira, Overcast, they're cool, sure. But I do miss something specific. Like I like my pastel colors. Um, I like variety in my colors and well it turns out there is actually 64 color palettes for bitwig as well you can use those if you want however they're kind of hard to come across i saw a reddit thread the other day that included a couple but it was not it wasn't a lot so um the other day on stream i decided i'd go ahead and try to make a couple myself and i've arrived at like a pretty solid repeatable strategy on how to how to make them uh, yourself so one side that i like to use is um this website right here lostpec.com slash palette list uh slash tag slash 64 these are all uh, 64 color palettes, and I'll show you how you can use these to make your own palettes because you can't just download them and import them, sadly. Um, for this tutorial in particular, I will just take this one right here because I think it looks pretty nice. One important thing, choose PNG image, 1x. Once you open this up, you're going to see uh, this opens up a 1x64 <laughs> image. You're going to want to right click, save this image. Um, just as a prerequisite, we're going to go to Bitwig Studio, Color Palettes, and we're going to save it right here. Now, if we go over to Bitwig now, and we look at it, we can try to open it, but it doesn't work. It's supposed to be 64 colors. It stretches it out vertically. This does not work. However, we can make it work. All we need to do is go over to paint. We're going to open uh, the Bitwig. Where is it? Bitwig Studio, Color Palace. This one we just imported. As you can see, it is a uh, 64 by 1 grid of pixels. You're first going to want to go over to File, Image Properties, and set the height to 4. For standard 24 color palettes, this is going to be 3 pixels high, but there's also a couple of different formats. I'm just going to be showing you 64 for this one though. What you're going to want to do is you're going to look at the middle mark here. You're going to want to select half of the pixels. So we're going to do that, make a selection box, we're going to grab those pixels, slide them over onto the left until it meets the edge here. As you can see, it perfectly lines up here in the center. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to shrink down the width to half of it. As you can see, this now fits the whole color palette. We select the half again, move it under, just like we did last time. All right, that's our main shape. All we need to do now is go back over to File, Image Properties, set this to 16, and that's it already. We have our color palette. All we go and do is save it. No need to save it as. It's already in the correct folder. In case you missed it, here it is in the color palettes folder. This note, this does not work if you either go ahead and import from image it doesn't work if you grab it and dra drag it on that didn't work just now hold on it doesn't work if you drag it on here either it will import it as a 3 by 24 it does not work always make sure you put your edited color palettes in the color palettes folder and then if we go ahead and open it up over here there it is. This is our color palette. We can change to any of these colors in here, just like that. It's it's that simple. Um, I'm going to just take uh, all of these that I have over here. I'm going to put them in a, um, a drive folder, and that drive folder's link I'll share on my Patreon. Or um, yeah, even better, I'll upload the files themselves to Patreon. If you want to grab these, just go ahead to my Patreon. I'll put the link in the description. 
and uh, just uh, go for the lowest tier. I'll put them on the lowest tier because I don't feel like it, these should be like that as expensive. Just a little bit of interaction there is all good. Anyways, that's about it. And I hope you have such a nice day.